So with it being super early days into this game being released, I thought I'd bring you prior to you getting to this point an answer to the question of, what do you get if you kill Royce? How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay so upon the very very early stages of this game you will eventually come to a point of meeting Royce, the leader of the Maelstrom gang. Now I won't spoil anything here in terms of story spoilers and why you are at this point, but as you may know, the way you play this game is completely up to you. You can befriend people, become enemies with same said people, and while every option you go with affects the game going forward. So Royce being the Maelstrom gang leader, there will obviously be consequences if you do kill him and other members find out. This is important to remember as it will affect the game going forward like I said for you and obviously affiliations with other gangs. So upon you meeting Royce, things kinda hit the pan and while you eventually come to a point where you have to make a quick choice decision of whether to kill him or not. Now NPCs of this stature in the game obviously once killed and looted have exclusive things. So guess what, me knowing this, I opted to kill him, and well upon doing this, I obviously looted Royce's body. And upon doing this guys, I got an amazing spiked Maelstrom short sleeve jacket, which is an epic by the way, and also a Maelstrom rare pistol called the Chaos. These two I do believe drop only from Royce. I know their pistol anyway, the Chaos pistol is Royce's pistol. Now the jacket as you can see offers a 17.8 armor stat which increases evasion by 0.2 and reduces damage from explosions by 8%. Now being this early into the game I'd say this is a great starter jacket for sure. Now the pistol, the chaos pistol is also great too. Definitely the best early on weapon up to this point I've used in the game. With an 88.8 DPS offering a damage value of 20 to 25, depending on that range no doubt, and a 3.85 attack speed. It's a tech pistol, so it can be charged to release a powerful shot, this is done by holding down that trigger and releasing. But in my personal experience with this weapon, I think it's better to spam that trigger in my opinion. With this weapon's plus 15 to 18 physical damage, a plus 3.15% crit chance, its charge time of 1.5 seconds, it has a bleeding chance of a plus 35 and a headshot multiplayer of 1.2 times. With all these taken into account, in my opinion the weapon is quite a beast, again especially for these early stages of the game anyway. And with weapons like this, they're obviously iconic weapons due to them dropping from an NPC of this stature, these weapons can be up upgraded like regular weapons or pieces of clothing. Upgrading improves their levels and stats, ensuring they remain useful as you progress through this game guys. So you can take this weapon to the very end with you if you wanna. And I do believe it's probably the first iconic weapon you get a chance of getting your hands on within the story campaign. So take it or leave it, the choice is yours. So yes people, these two items come from you deciding to kill Royce and looting his body. At this moment in time, I can't state that not killing Royce will later on in the game equate to you earning better loot as I don't know that yet. All I know is as of right now, this early on into the game, these are great weapons to have. And while with the game dawning closer to release, with many people not long after this video being posted, no doubt coming to this point in the game, I guess people would want to know out there what you get if you do decide to kill Royce when that opportunity arises. And well guys, this is what you do get, an epic jacket and a rare pistol. And well the end of the video has arrived guys. While you are here though and thank you for getting this far into the video, come and join my discord and let's chat more about cyberpunk. It's linked below and I guarantee it will be a place you enjoy your stay. And on that note the end of the video has arrived, again if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps me out, subscribe if you want to see more cyberpunk videos and hopefully I will see you on that next one.